Hey, what's going on everyone? Finally making it out to do a hike in the snow. Got my snowshoes on. Ugh, can't lift my leg that high. And I'm here with the one and only Drew. What's up? Um, if you've been watching these videos, you might remember him from being the fearless leader of the Garner Cave. When I wussed out, he <laughs> climbed in deeper. Anyway, we are back on the Sardine Peak Trail. We did this one before um, up to the arch, the Breeze Arch. Um, there's a new arch that we're hoping to discover that Drew has seen. He's in town from San Diego for Thanksgiving and uh, we've been chatting back and forth about trying to find this one. We don't know what it's gonna be like once we get up there, but uh, we're gonna find out. I have my drone, so at least that can get us close if we can't. But it's kind of crazy to be up at Snow Basin and not be skiing and snowboarding on opening weekend, but uh, this is free, so we'll do it. Took a little pit stop next to this creek here. Drew's got his new camera. What is it? It's a Sony uh, 7, A7 III. Oh, nice. So it's uh, the mirrorless? Yes. Nice. little pond had ice on it when I came up here last time. So I don't know if you've ever been snowshoeing before if you're watching this but it's a lot of work. <laughs> it's a little bit extra effort so I might not shoot as much walking and talking stuff and more b-roll. We've come to this awesome meadow. Check that out. So we made it through the meadow. Now we're into the birch trees. These are birch, right? Are these quakies? Yeah. Oh, dude, I feel like an idiot. These are. Oh, there's the maples right there. I thought these were birch. Anyway, good thing Drew's here. He likes plants. Um, but yeah, it snow's deep, but at least the trail's been packed down. It was a little iffy there through the meadow, but there's been plenty of traffic, which actually surprises me because we just got all this snow over the week, or you know, over the last days so it's good to see that people are out enjoying it already just taking a little break still working our way up the uh, sardine peak trail came from that direction and uh, yeah it's a winter wonderland up here That we're kind of on the exposed side we can feel the wind coming in and the trails deteriorating just a little bit so it might get tricky the further we go but we're in this till we can't go anymore All right, so the trail is getting a little tougher. It's weird because some sections look barely worn and then you get up a little farther and it's better. But I think the reason is, is because of the wind blowing over it. But we think we heard some people up front that are actually cutting the trail, so that's nice. But I think we're on our final push towards the ridge, so. We're definitely getting closer. We joked that if this was summertime, we easily would have been there by now. But there's been a lot of stopping for pictures and for breathers. But this is pretty beautiful. A 
Also, when we get up on the ridge, it's probably gonna be super windy, so we'll have to figure out what to do for sound. I don't think I'll be able to fly my drone up there unless it calms down. But that's not the first time I've said that and been able to fly my drone, so we'll see when we get there. All right, so we've come to the crossroads and uh, the goal is to get up there. We just passed some guys coming down that went up to the overlook and they're the only two that have been up here. So we don't have very far to go. It's not even a half a mile, I'd say, but uh, it's gonna be rough breaking trail. Um, but we're gonna attempt it. I mean, we're here, so what do you think? It's gonna be rough. <laughs> Are you for it? We're gonna, oh yeah, we're gonna sink in, but we'll be fair. Yeah. Anyway, that's Sardine Peak. I don't know if we'll even entertain the idea of going up there. I think we'll just go to the arch, but check this out. Look at those snow covered trees up there. It's pretty awesome. far not too bad but I'm not the one in the lead so I can't complain yet got Drew breaking trail we have our first casualty we made it up to the ridge there's Sardine Peak right there the uh, Breeze Arch, which we visited this fall, is just right in there. Let me make sure there's no water on the lens. Okay, we're good. And then check that out. There's Ogden Valley. You can see the clouds parting and you can actually see the reflection off the lake. I don't know if you can tell from here, but definitely pretty tough but once you get up on this ridge it's not too bad you don't sink in very far I lost my snowshoe twice it's quite a spectacle but uh, we're gonna keep going see what we can find Making our way up. Drew is back there getting his camera. It's getting pretty tough. We're blazing this trail, but we're right below the overlook. So we're really close. Don't necessarily want to turn back now, but yeah, I didn't really feel like busting out the camera, but I figured that that's when you probably should because you're going through something worse documenting at this point but it's just one foot in front of the other I did get some cool drone shots of Drew walking across the ridge that was just my dirty way of getting him to blaze the trail I guess anyway I'm just gonna put this away and focus on getting up there so if you see this when we're up there you'll know we made it
All right, so we made it to the overlook before you drop down to Rees Arch. Uh, Visibility is still pretty good. We can see Ogden down in the valley. The uh, arch that we were looking at going to is down this ridge. Um, if you watch this, you <laughs> won't be able to see it. Maybe I'll superimpose an arrow to it or something, unless it's a secret. Is it a secret? All right, Drew's the one that found it. So we're gonna call it Drew Arch or Hill Arch. And uh, the way we'd get down is uh, down here, but it was just really rough going through these trees. As you can see, it is very cold. Got some ice in my beard. Then, I don't know if you can hear me, it's pretty windy. Down there is Breeze Arch. Do you still want to try to go down there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll just uh, traverse down this ridge to Breeze Arch and then call it a day. We started around 10, shortly after 10. It's 2 o'clock now. The bulk of it was the last bit because we were the first ones to blaze the trail. So that uh, took quite some time. And there were a few mishaps with my snowshoes. Anyway, uh, yeah, we'll uh, see you down at Breeze Arch. Do you hear geese? Wow. I don't know if you can hear that, but there's some geese somewhere in these clouds. All right, we made it down that steep ledge right there. Not really a ledge, but it's gonna be real fun going back up, but check it out. We're at the arch, the breeze arch. I honestly didn't think I'd be here again, especially in the winter time. But uh, this might be as close as I'm gonna get to it. There's a drop off on the other side. Wouldn't be fun. And it's probably really windy, so it's probably hard to hear me anyway. So, anyway, this was quite the adventure. I can't remember if I said it took six hours, but I meant four hours to get up here. Um, hopefully it goes a lot quicker going down the mountain because it's about two o'clock it's gonna the sun's gonna set right around five o'clock so we don't want to be caught up here in the dark the view is perfect anything you want to say drew uh not really was it worth it oh totally <laughs> yeah that's all that matters yeah. my uh camelback oh <laughs> my camelback's frozen um, I need to get a sleeve for it. Make sure that if you're going to do this in the winter time, you have snowshoes, you have water that doesn't freeze, you have plenty of snacks, and of course warm gear. And give yourself plenty of time to get out and back and let people know where you are. That's the most important. So, anyway, thanks for uh, joining us on this hike. I'm going to wrap this up so that we can focus on getting down the mountain. But, uh, Remember, we did this hike so you will want to. And if you like it, subscribe, like it, comment, whatever you want. Anyway, let's just get a like for my frozen beard. That's all that, that's all that matters. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great week. Bye.